people, steal from your own people, destroy your own community. Bro, what the fuck are you talking about? <sighs> I normally like your content because it's very enlightened. However, you one of the people to just fall into the narrative. I want to start this off by saying I agree partially. Like it's way more than that. It's all actuality. You're talking about some shit you probably don't know about because one, that's not the purpose of gangs. Gang culture literally be like a family, a brotherhood that has no structure and it's corrupt to a certain extent. Now I say you fall into the narrative because the media will make you believe that gangs is the problem with black culture when they are a problem, but they by far not the biggest problem, especially when on the other hand, they profit from it. Like it's all in the music. So one moment we idolize them and the next we demonize them. Like the media and who they put out and make you think everybody is C-Mac or just a hardened criminal always trying to eliminate somebody. Like I remember when I was going to court and a, the boy, this was the boy from BPS, he was going to trial. And in his case, they said that his gang had over a thousand members. Bro, if it was a thousand members, as tough as they made them seem, that's an army. Not saying that they ain't tough, but not everybody out here eliminating people. Not everybody out here committing crime. A lot of them dudes committed one crime, still a member, and, and start going to work. Shit like me. And majority of the crimes that members commit is property crime. For two reasons, greed and necessity. But however, with greed and necessity, you're not going to go to the community that doesn't have it to get it. And to another point, some people would argue that a lot of gentrification is stopped because gangs. So yeah, gang culture is like dumb, but ultimately not for the reasons that he's saying. Literally one of the dumbest. That's why I be hating you trendy dudes. I mean, you could end up in the same cemetery regardless of what y'all died for. You know, black people been lied to so much. I would think we would, you know, look into stuff instead of taking it as face value. But then again, our community loves believing in the worst about us. Okay, so last year, 327 people was homicide victims in Los Angeles. This is the stat of 2022, but the numbers are similar as the years go on. Anyway, 23% of homicide victims is homeless people, so that's not gang related. Then when you look at the feds and how the feds break it down with all the numbers of gang members annually, the homicides gang members commit is 13% of all homicides. Now, I'm not saying that 13% isn't a lot or important. I'm just saying last year, it was 336 traffic related deaths. Why it ain't more DUI commercials? You're acting better than drunk. I can tell you why, because y'all not marginalizing or criticizing a typical minority group of people. However you want to spin it, the numbers, don't match up to what y'all say gangs are. Well, maybe in Chicago, I don't know. They're a little different. However, when last year there was over a thousand black and Latino kids missing at one point, or when they find over a hundred inmates illegally buried under a prison, majority black and Hispanic men, or the fact that these gang members can get out of prison, owe restitution and child support, have a felony on their record, and are trying to find a way to not commit crimes, I'm worried about helping with those situations. Like I say, gangs are not the biggest problem in my community. It's just not. I don't know why y'all just post things like we just supposed to believe that. I already posted a video with the facts or the stats or whatever that I came across addressing Los Angeles. Chicago, I didn't look up. I'm just going off of the gang violence that I see out here and based on my knowledge of the judicial system and the media and how they inflate them numbers. If you show me some numbers that's valid and I can't debate that's more than fucking 40% gang related, valid gang related crimes, well not crimes, but homicides, then okay, I will have to reevaluate my position as far as believing that that's not the biggest issue with black culture because I don't think it's the biggest issue. It's a terrible issue, but I don't think it's the biggest and I don't see the numbers that support it because all gang members are not criminals nor murderers. Actually, majority ain't. Bro, y'all keep proving my point with dumbass comments like this. Gangs is the biggest oppressors in the black community, huh? Gangs is the reason for the unemployment rate. Gangs are the reason for the large amount of abortions every year by black women. 
oh, gangs are the reason so many black people are renting apartments because they must have systematically not allowed us to get loans and stuff for houses. Yeah, gangs, biggest oppressor. Gangs own the music industries that push killing. Not to mention when gangs started that crack epidemic, you know, when they organized that uh, war and used the proceeds from selling drugs to fund the war. Yeah, gangs the reason a lot of these dudes are uh, ex-smokers. Like, come on, get out of here. We can state real situations with real numbers that black people are facing. Like I said, gangs ain't the biggest oppressor. I just love putting it back on the nigga.